Time for our nine remaining contestants to play fastest finger first. Buttons at the ready, here comes the next question. Starting at the top of the body, put these items of clothing in the order they would normally be worn. Cravat, sneaker, loincloth, trilby. OK, nine left. Let's see, um, let's see the right order, see if any of them want um, a loincloth on their head. Um, let's have a look. Right at the top, uh, trilby. Then it's the cravat. Then it's the loincloth. Uh, and then it's a sneaker. Right, that's the right order. Now, nine played. How many got it right out of nine? These were correct. Uh, all nine. Now, who was fastest? Sean McCahey in 3.19. What up, Sean? That's quick. That's very quick. How am I doing with your name? Cahey. How's your name? Can you play for a million? I don't do. I thought we were going to see one tonight. We're going to see one now. One of the few contestants over the years, taller than me. This is Sean McCarthy, a pharmacist from County Tyrone, Northern Ireland. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Sean, not a lot. Let's get you up to £1,000. You have all three lifelines. This is question number one. What name is given to a portable two way radio? Sneaky Speaky. Smally Corley. Walkie Talkie. Out and Abouty Shouty. <laughs> I would say walkie-talkie. Not out and about, he shouty. Nope. nope. It's the right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> Question number two is worth 200 Here it comes. Which punctuation mark should follow who, what and where when used as single words of interrogation? Open bracket. Question mark. Forward slash. Exclamation mark. Question mark. It's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> OK, number three is for 300 quid. Here it comes. Which of these is used to measure the depth of water or to verify a true vertical alignment? Plumb line. Bread line. Picket line. Touch line. That's plumb line, Chris. You've got £300. <laughs> Number four for 500, here it is. Which of these is a Caribbean island? Rockall, Barbados, Circe, Crete. Barbados, Chris. You got 500 pounds. <laughs> you still haven't touched the lifeline, no problem so far. Right, number five, Sean will guarantee you 1,000 pounds. Take that back to County Tower Rome. This is the question. In which of these sports are you most likely to hit a drop shot? Hockey. Cricket, baseball, tennis. Tennis. It's the right answer. You got one thousand. We'll play. <laughs> Good man. Feel better. <laughs> this is question number six. It's worth two thousand pounds. Walking on the Moon was a number one hit single for which band in 1979? Police, Clash, Buzzcocks, Boomtown Rats, Police. Clash, Buzzcocks, Boomtown Rats. Yeah, quite a fan of this band. Uh, it was the police. Final answer. Yeah. It's the right answer. You got two thousand pounds. <laughs> Question number seven is for four thousand pounds. You haven't paused for breath at all yet. Your lifelines are intact. This will bring you four thousand. Here it comes. During the 1920s, what was sold from tricycles bearing the slogan, Stop me and buy one? Bread, fish, newspapers, ice cream. Stop me and buy one. Could I ask the audience, Chris? Uh, you can. Audience. Gasps of horror from the audience. Let's see what happens. Um, it's worth £4,000. Let's see if we can get Sean up to 4000 Here comes the question. During the 1920s, what was sold from tricycles bearing the slogan, Stop me and buy one? 
A, B, C or D. All vote now. Uh, big percentage of the audience, 78% think it's ice cream. 3% uh, think bread, 3% fish, 16% newspapers. It's, it's your call. That's pretty high, but it's your call. It's pretty high. Yeah. I'll go with the audience. Final answer. Final answer. I can tell you that among that 78% is Cloder, actually. And they're all correct. It's worth four thousand pounds. The answer is three. You got a fifty-fifty. You still got a phone, a friend. Have a look at number eight. It's worth eight thousand pounds. You obviously don't have to play this, but you can double your money. Here it comes. Which is the twelfth and last sign in the zodiac year? Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus. Cancer. Now you've got four thousand pounds, it's worth eight. The zodiac here. Can I go 50 50, Chris? Yeah, computer take away two wrong answers, leave Sean the right answer, and one remaining random wrong answer. Twelfth and last sign in the zodiac. Pisces, Aquarius. One of those is worth eight thousand. I knew when the zodiac year ran from. Be a help. I know Aquarius is February. January, February. Pisces is, I think, April, May. I'll go A, Pisces. Why? Why not? <laughs> because it might be wrong, is why not? Uh, actually, you've got to find a friend left if you want it. I don't think a funnel friend would be any good to me. Final answer. I can tell you that 66% of this audience have gone for Aquarius. And on the last one on ice cream, they were spot on. On this one, 66% are completely wrong. You've just won £8,000. <laughs> ice is the right answer. You've got £8,000 at this moment. Next question is number nine. Now, it's for £16,000. You do still have one lifeline. You're two away from £32,000. you are seven away from £1 million. This is question number nine. It's worth £16,000. In which country is the city of Trondheim? Germany. Netherlands. Norway. Austria. Leaning towards Norway. Um, it's your call. I'll go with C, Norway. Final answer. Final answer. Clodagh thinks it's Germany. She's wrong. You're right. You've just got <laughs> 16,000 pounds. <laughs> oh! Oh, this is on the edge, isn't it? You've got £16,000, you're one away from a guaranteed 32000 and you have kept that phone a friend. Have a look at question number 10 of a possible 15. What was the maiden name of Camilla Parker Bowles? Bland. Shand. Strand. Brand. Yes. Who could you find? So there is one person you could phone, but you probably haven't got his number. <laughs> That's true. I'll try Lawrence. OK. Phone Lawrence. You don't have to take his answer. Uh, tell him the question, four possible answers. If you did give me a wrong answer at this point, you would lose £15,000. Mm -hmm. 
Hello? Lawrence? Hello. It's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in England. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good. I've got, um, now I've got Sean here and he's doing OK. He's on £16,000. Uh-huh. Which is good, but what it does mean, Lawrence, set a amount of pressure for you. Um, there are four possible answers. One of these, obviously, that you'll hear will be the right answer. It's worth £32,000. OK. Sean, lots of luck. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Lawrence, what was the maiden name of Camilla Parker Bowles? A. Bland, B. Shand, C. Strand, or D. Brand? That's the maiden name of Camilla Parker Bowles. Bland, Shand, Strand, or Brand? OK, Sean. Um, I think it's Shand. Shand. I'm not too sure, and I... OK, thanks very much, Lawrence. OK, bye. Cheers. Go for it. It's a lot of money if you lose. Yeah. And you still got to pay for the shoes. <laughs> Wanna play this? I'll play it, yeah. I'll go for Shand. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer, you got thirty two thousand pounds. <laughs> Thousand pounds, John McKay. Yeah, a good night's nice work. Whatever happens. Okay, you want to take it? Touch it? I'll let you keep it for now. Okay, I'll put it there for now. But it's yours. Whatever happens, Sean, you go home with that amount tonight. Back to Northern Ireland. Good result. I mean, what did you have in mind? What sort of sums of money? Especially like young married couples, you've usually got something specific you want to do, or? Uh, well, just uh, I thought coming on the thirty-two thousand would be nice because if you get that far, you can kind of relax. And... Are you relaxed? Uh, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Glad are you relaxed? Not at all. <laughs> OK, well, listen, that's good. That's great for the pair of you. Guaranteed £32,000. Um, have a look at number 11. You might as well play this. You can't lose. You've got no lifelines left, but you cannot lose on this one. You go home with that cheque no matter what. If you give me the right answer, question number 11, it's worth £64,000.